Welcome to a Key Smash Studios tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to export a Unreal asset as an FBX so that way you can put it into applications such as Blender, animate and edit it there, and then import it back into Unreal. As you're watching, if you find this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. This is part three of a four part series. So if you're wanting first person movement and a weapon pickup, be sure to watch the previous two. If you're just here to see how to export out of Unreal, then those videos aren't needed. However, I will be using the weapons that we imported in the previous video. I will provide the link in the description below again for those, for those who didn't watch that video, but it is just an Unreal free asset at the time that I downloaded it. And I'll also be using ARMS, which is a free asset that I got from Open Game Art. The link for that will also be in the description below. So to go ahead and begin, you're going to want to go to your weapon bundle, weapons, meshes, I'm using the SMG, but whatever weapon you're going to use, you want to make sure that you're pulling the skeleton into the scene. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that into the scene. And then you want to make sure that it's selected and that it's the only thing selected. Once you've done that, you want to go up to file, go down to export selected, click on that, and I'm going to export it back into my project, but you don't have to do that. I'm just going to stick it here for ease and I'm going to call it U asset SMG as FBX and the file type I'm doing is FBX. You can also do objects as well as other file types. So I'm going to go ahead and click save. I'm going to click export. It's going to ask me to re-import it as I put it back into my project. If you didn't put it back into your project, you won't get that. It doesn't really matter what you do here as you won't actually be using this weapon inside of Unreal. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click import. Now I'm gonna go to Blender and I already have the arms from the link open. But what you're gonna wanna do is go up to file, click on import, go to FBX. And I've already copied the location. And here's my asset. So I'm gonna go ahead and import this FBX. Now if I go over to this, you can see that the skeleton isn't in the right placement, so I'm going to go ahead and move my gun to be back on top of the skeleton. And once I've done that, I'm going to scale the weapon because the arms are rather big, so I'm going to go ahead and do 7 in all directions for my weapon. And then what you want to do from here is just move it to whatever positioning you're wanting. I'm not going to actually animate the whole thing for you, as I want this video to be more about how to export out of Unreal and import back into it through Blender, but I will go ahead and show you how to get started. So on the arms, you're going to want to make sure that you get rid of the animation that it comes with, and the gun and the arms are actually going to have two separate animations. So you're going to click on your arms, however long you want your animation to be, you want to make sure that you adjust the start and the end, and then you want to make sure that you click auto keying, which is this little circle. So after you've done that, you want to go up to pose, so that way you can see all of the bones and then you're just going to adjust them however you see fit so we'll say at 20 that I want it to rotate the wrist by this much as you can see down here the keyframe is added for your animation you're gonna want to do it again for the arms as well as for your gun I'm gonna go ahead and just open the one that I've already done so that way you can see that one So as you can see, if I click play here, it picks up the gun and holds it into a position. And once again, as you can see, I have an animation under my character and an animation under my gun. Once you've done that, you want to go up to file. You want to go down to export and click on FBX. I'm just going to name this for vid. And then for the options, you want to make sure you just have the armatures and the mesh. You just hold down shift while you click for that. For scale, because again, the arms are pretty big, I did 0.1, and I switched the forward to Y because of the positioning of them. And then for geometry, I got rid of apply modifiers, and I got rid of add leaf bones. 
And then under animation, I got rid of all three of these. Whenever I would have all actions checked, I would import just the arm animations and not the gun animation. And when I unchecked it, it allowed both animations to be imported separately. So now you can go ahead and click export FBX and we can go back to Unreal. So now what we wanna do is just import those weapons. So I'm gonna go back to content, create a new folder called arms. I'm gonna go ahead and open this folder and then open up my file explorer. I'm gonna drag in the one that we just made. And then for import settings, you wanna make sure that you have none for skeleton as the two different animations will have different skeletons. You wanna make sure that you're importing the animations. You also wanna make sure that both of these are checked if they're not already checked by default. And then because of the rotation of the arms, you wanna make sure that your import rotation is at 90. We can go ahead and click import here. And then as you can see, we got an arm animation and a gun animation. So I'll let those shaders finish compiling. And now that those compilers are finished, we're gonna go ahead and open up the animation so that way you can see that it is in fact pulling in this animation of it lifting up the arm. And then if I go down and open up the gun animation, you can see that the gun animation is also popping up. So as a recap, we took a Unreal asset and exported it as an FBX, so that way we could put it inside of Blender and edit and animate it there, to then export it out of Blender as an FBX and import it back into Unreal, so that way we can use it inside of our games. Once again, this is part three of a four-part series. The next video will consist of taking these animations that we just imported and having them play whenever we've interacted with a weapon, so that way we have a smooth transition of picking up the weapon with an arm instead of having the weapon just appear here in front of our camera. As always, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments, or you can join our Discord and ask them there. The link for that will be in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.